Let's do this. She's a little bit of a noisy audience <laughs> member. And another fur ball. Meet Tigger. Hey, my friend. I wanted to tell you a story first before I get into the meat of it. So I met my friend Connor, uh, whom I haven't seen for a couple years, and he completely changed his career. He was working as a library technician after a two-year degree, and he found that it was limiting and there was no much, not much room for moving upward. So his girlfriend suggested, why don't you try coding? And so he looked into it and he got started on this thing called the Odin Project. So he did it for a good 10 months, just self-studying, putting in the hours he would spend at the beginning, 10 to 15 hours a week, then later on 25 to 30 hours a week. And 10 months later, and that was this year, March or something, he got hired with a handsome salary for a software developer position that he had no experience for 10 months prior. So that was a revolutionary change in his career. And I was thinking, wow, if he can do that, I've had you know experience in the past as an electrical engineering student, a little bit of programming. Um, I thought I forgot everything, but I can go back and do it again and learn all I need to do to find a well-paying job. So I was two days into this Odin project, just reading up on it. Then I stumbled upon a YouTube video that popped up. It was a rehash of Jim Carrey's graduation speech, which I've seen long before, but I decided to click on it anyway, watch it. And what Jim Carrey said really rang true to me because Jim Carrey's father was an accountant. I'll let him finish the story. My father could have been a great comedian, but he didn't believe that that was possible for him. And so he made a conservative choice. Instead, he got a safe job as an accountant. And when I was 12 years old, he was let go from that safe job. And our family had to do whatever we could to survive. I learned many great lessons from my father, not the least of which was that you can fail at what you don't want. So you might as well take a chance on doing what you love. I'm doing the exact same thing as his father. I am choosing programming, not because I love it, not because I think uh, I'll enjoy it that much, but because I think it'll be a safe job. I think it'll pay well enough. So just like Jim Carrey's father, I'm thinking, oh, this will be good enough as a, as a way to make money. I realize that it's a decision made out of fear. So many of us choose our path out of fear disguised as practicality. But then the statistics aren't so great for content creators either. Let's say I make YouTube videos as much as as often as I can. I just heard this a couple days ago. Ian Kung is one of the YouTubers that tells me this. I don't know if it's true because I tried looking at it online. I couldn't find the statistic with a brief search. But this is what he says. Of all the people who set out to be full-time content creators, about 99.5% of them wash out. God damn it. So 99.5% of content creators fail to make it their full-time job. And that means that's one every 200 people make it as a content creator. And 199 people fail for every one person that makes it. So that's a very low percentage. And to expect that this, I can make this YouTubing a, uh, my full-time job is a lot to ask for. You will only ever have two choices, love or fear. Choose love and don't ever let fear turn you against your playful heart. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't want to make a decision out of fear, but at the same time, it does seem like I'm asking the universe for a lot. And Jim Carrey says, ask the universe anyway, he's proof. What we really want seems impossibly out of reach and ridiculous to expect, so we never dare to ask the universe for it. I'm saying I'm the proof that you can ask the universe for it. But he's the exception, right? I mean, how many stand-up comics and actors make it to the level of success or even close to the level of success that he has? It's so unlikely most likely people, you know, if they go into that career, they're barely scraping by it and they'd be lucky to make a living out of it. And when I say life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you, 
I really don't know if that's true. <laughs> I'm just making a conscious choice to perceive challenges as something beneficial so that I can deal with them in the most productive way. You'll come up with your own style. That's part of the fun. Oh, and uh, why not take a chance on faith as well? <sighs> Is Jim Carrey right? You know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to see if he's right. I'm going to put the hours in. I'm going to work towards my goal of being a full-time YouTuber. Let's see where this goes. I don't know how long it'll take. Maybe it'll take years and I'll get no progress. But uh, this is the start of my journey. And Jim Carrey, I hope you're right. Let's see. Thank you for watching. May you be free from suffering. As far as I can tell, it's just about letting the universe know what you want and working toward it while letting go of how it comes to pass.